I might return to questions that I raised in last estimates and um, table the documents that I sent to the Secretariat and that were circulated um, in our last estimates session. That's okay. Yep. Yeah, good to go. Questions. Yeah, great. Yeah. And I'm conscious yeah. that my colleague wants to ask some questions as well. Thank you. Um, CSIRO's 23-24 annual report on pages 144 to 48 shows the breakdown of payments made to your board members, key management team, senior executive staff, and other highly paid staff. Um, Dr Hilton, is it correct that bonuses were paid to the acting CEO, senior executive staff, and other highly paid staff? Uh, I understand from the table that uh, the deputy chief executive was paid uh, an at-risk component of her salary. So can you explain the total amount of those salary at-risk payments or bonus payments? I think we touched on this last time. We did. So, so Tom Maniard, Chief Operating Officer. In the instance of the, the Acting Chief Executive, um, that was consistent with the, the arrangements in place for the, uh, the Chief Executive as set out by the Remuneration Tribunal. Essentially, um, it's a judgment call of the Board in relation to, to that, uh, that payment and uh, what percentage uh, of the uh, available uh, incentive payment is, uh, is provided to, to the individual at the time. And do you have that quantum? Uh, I don't have that on me. Uh, obviously, that's a, a discussion between the individuals, but I can take that question on notice, Senator. Yeah, I think that because the annual report that you've got in front of you, as you can see, it doesn't show the full totals. It's sort of lacking in some of that detail. But would you have a range, like roughly, how much you think was paid in salary risk slash bonus payments? So, oh, sorry, the, the yeah. at-risk component that's been paid is yeah. the figure that's contained in the table. Um, but the cumulative amount of that across, this, across those groups, senior, senior executives. So I think so on, and I think we're on page 144, yeah. is that right? So the only, among those senior people, the only salary at risk payment for that year was the payment to the acting chief executive for the period she was acting. That was the only salary at risk? For those executives. For the, for the key management personnel on that table. Yeah. Um, in 2023, CSIRO admitted that its deputy chair, David Knox, had been overpaid by 200000 between 2018 and 20. Was this paid as a bonus or other benefit in entitlement? Uh, no, it wasn't, Senator. It was in relation to um, Mr Knox, uh, who was appointed at the period for, as the managing director and CEO of Australian Naval Infrastructure to CSIRO, and therefore he was ineligible to also receive a payment for the board. And has this money now been recovered? It has been recovered. Fully recovered, yep. yep. Including um, the superannuation component, okay. which was the last outstanding amount um, at, uh, when we were questioning at estimates around 12 months ago. And is David no, no, David no is still on the board and receives a salary in super? Or? No, Mr Knox resigned from the board in, I believe it was September of last year. And have any other staff been overpaid? Uh, staff members? Or board uh, members? I would have to... I'd have to take the detail of, of that on notice. From a, on occasions, staff members uh, do get overpaid. Um, and uh, uh, for example, uh, when uh, being on leave and, uh, and not having the leave credits and not returning to work, for example. As, um, so I'll have to take the detail of that on but notice to, to confirm that, how many. But do your questions go to that level of detail about um, overpayments for staff in the kind of categories that um, that have been referred to are they really about board directors um, and senior senior management? I just if yes. if we can save the organisation some work, um, so if it's just in relation to senior staff and board directors, um, I think that would that's an easy piece of work. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, Um, returning to our previous exchange on 7 November regarding Data 61, um, Dr Hilton, you said that no jobs would be cut this financial year. What about the following financial year? Um, will there be cuts to Data 61 that, that you've identified or projected? No, we have no plans, no. Senator. Um, I might go to my colleague to ask further yeah. questions, and if there's time, I'll ask 